Hey Luke here at catsandcarp.com and welcome to another episode. Now today our family is renting this house in Cape Coral, Florida and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, we got papayas growing in the front yard and, and uh, we've got this palm trees and sunshine and, and this weird uh, front yard made out of seashells. But anyway, I wanted to try a fun little fishing challenge and the opportunity fell from the sky. Um, check this out. We've got these palm fronds here. They're really quite heavy. I mean, look at this. This is feels like pretty uh, hard stuff. Um, and I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I could make a cane pole out of a palm frond and catch fish on it? So we're going to try just that. We're going to try making a fishing rod out of a palm frond. <sighs> All right, this is where I'm going to work on my project here. I've got my fishing rods, got my boy Jacob here, got a chair. It's everything a man needs. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? It looks good, actually. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah, pick it up. Pick it up. It's 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 kind of heavy. Yeah. But it feels sturdy, doesn't it? It's I'd like to straighten it out, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible. Hey Jake. Hi. All right, there we go. A little circle hook with a couple split shot. We're good to go. All right. Now we wait. If you guys kind of like these videos where you make your own fishing rods, I've got like a bunch that you guys might really like. I did one a while ago where we cut down some 20-foot tall pieces of bamboo and made fishing rods out of them, and did a couple fishing trips with that. Also, um, I did a challenge where I made my own fishing rod out of like PVC pipe and tried to manufacture my own fishing reel. And I also did a video where I hand forged a bunch of fishing hooks. I'm going to put a links in the descriptions to all that. But I've gotten a couple bites that stole my bait, um, but nothing's hooked up. It's a sure sign that the fish are a bit small. Whenever you have a situation where you're getting a lot of hits and it's not hooking up, it's usually your hooks and baits are too big for whatever's chomping on them. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and if I keep having this problem, I'm gonna downgrade the size of my hook. Well, I got my third bite without a hookup, so I downgraded my hook to a number four Eagle Claw bait hook. A little bit smaller, a little bit easier to fit in the mouth, so we'll see if that solves the problem. Oh, got him. Oh, look at this. Tommy, it's not a catfish. Oh, look at this. I thought it'd be a catfish. No, it's not a sunfish. It's got teeth. Teeth. I want to see it in the shade. Look at that. Yeah, that is cool. You want to see it? Whoa. 
Is that cool? Yeah. Look at careful. Look at his teeth in his mouth. I know. Oh, look at that. Man, this guy's got some gnarly teeth on him. Let's put him back. Well, Nathan's saying that we caught a piranha, so I, I like I like the way he thinks. But uh, yeah, that was cool. I have no idea what kind of fish that is. I'll have to go look that up. But if you know, leave a leave a comment down below. All right, well, we're gonna find out whether that was a just a lone fish or whether there's a school of them down there. I've got a sneaky suspicion that there's a school of them down there. But oh, here we go. Here's another bite. Come on, come on, take it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There's a school of them down there. Look at that, guys. That, that's a pretty fish. That is cool. Look at the teeth on him. Yeah, he's got real big chompers. All right, let's put him back. It looks like a piranha. <laughs> it looked like a piranha. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's another piranha fish. Look at that, there's another one. What a pretty fish. Well, these are pretty fun to catch, but I'm gonna to try to catch something a little bit bigger. I wanna challenge this rod. So I'm gonna cast out as far as I can, try different spots and see if I can hook into a catfish. Well, downsizing those hooks really worked. Went from like a number two circle hook to a number four J hook and made all the difference in the world. So if you ever get lots of hits and it's not hooking up, just go and downsize your bait and, and hooks until you find the right size. Well, I caught a bunch of new species and cool little fish, but the boys are in the pool and they really want dad to come join them. So I'm gonna put this up for a little bit and uh, we're gonna try some more. Grab it, Nate, grab it. Whoa. Gonna fight him? Whoa. Yeah, you gotta get him. Oh, he's actually putting a bend in that rod. Look at him. Yeah, walk backwards. See if you can get him closer. Good job, buddy. Nice little hardhead catfish right there. These things are very pokey. Well, look what I just caught. It's a Shimano bait runner reel and a rod. Well, uh, if you guys think I should do a, a rod and reel restoration video with this thing, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Click that like button. Enough of you guys want me to. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't restore this whole uh, rod and reel setup. Well, that's about all the time I have left for my palm frond cane pole. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please check out some of our other great challenge videos. So thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see all of our great adventures in our Florida trip, don't forget to check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where we post all of our vlogs and great adventures. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.